All right, we got this part here and we need to insert a cap at the top of it. So how we can close this surface and close this gap. Let me show you how I can do that. I'm going to bar surfacing menu and create a planner surface. Like that, hit OK. Let's move it a little up and get the top view. Now I'm going to try to match the shape with my subdivide tools. Okay, I'm going to insert until here and keep the end of the board because we're going to insert it manually. I'm going to show you how. Let me just add some guy here. Okay, now try to just close them to the edge. Okay. Now let's easily insert a center edge holding the A key and press. And I'm going to select this body a little bit down here and invert a reference. Now let's select all the edges of the board that we created on the Swordworks. Okay. Then click apply. Let's now select these edges and constrain to the edge. So we should get something like that. I'm going to delete these because I need to keep it this line here or this guideline in the center. And I'm going to just select this middle edge and create a little extrusion here. Okay, now from here, I'm going to take this edges and extrude. So let's take one. Two, three, scale, scale again. Okay. Now for this one here, it's going to be on the edge. This guy's vertex. And this one, this middle edge this one for the vertex and we got this vertex here and this vertex here and this one here the middle edge okay now let's try to flatten this up and select this and just constrain it to edge okay so you got this nice constraining let's do the same for this one here select extrude one Two, three. This guy is going to be on this vertex. This one for the vertex. Here on the edge. And here on this vertex. This one is this vertex. And the middle guy is going to be on the edge.
Okay. Now let's select these edges and constrain them to the edge. This one to the edge also. I think we need just one more extrusion here. So this one gonna be to this vertex and this one to this vertex here or this edge and this for this vertex and this one here and that one in the middle of the edge. Now let's make sure it's looks good on the top. And then let's constrain them to edge. Okay, so it looks good now. Maybe we can just remove this constraining and move this a little here to edge and constrain this to the edge and now it's going to be perfect okay now from here let's see if we got any issue on the surface I think we got someone here So I need to move this a little up here. Make sure this is to the edge. I need to insert an edge here. And move this guy along here and this to the vertex and this to the edge okay now let's see the rest of it We got a vertex here. Let's attach this with this vertex. And got one here also. Okay, that seems to be great. We got a little one here. And let's make sure this is on the vertex. And this one also. Now we good. I can try now to go to manual override, manual override, and make a subdivision levels at four, then convert. Now we're going to net the surface and it create a solid. So you already seen, we got this nice cap. However, I can go back to the bar surfacing again and control how much height I need. Till here. Then you can control if I need it higher or it's anything here.
Okay. Let's get the curvature comps. I'm gonna see everything looks nice. and the zebra stripes also. 